possible you can do anything. That feels good. That feels good. That feels good. I'm fully capable of doing anything. I don't have to do anything, yet I'm fully capable of doing anything. And I'm choosing to do this because it benefits me because it feels good. So, depending on where you are in your process, now you may be someone that's already fasted before. You may have fasted many times before. You may love fasting. You may fast as a general part of your life. Okay, well that's great. So, you can start wherever you are. If you're already capable of fasting, then begin fasting. Begin fasting and go as long as you possibly can without eating food. The longer you go, the deeper and deeper and deeper you're going to purify. And then when you need to eat some food, only eat juice, fresh squeezed juices, or just fruits or greens. Ideally, you can keep all fat, all proteins, all carbohydrates, anything complex of any kind out of your diet for at least a month. If you can do that, you're going to give your body a really, really good amount of time to really, really detox. So I've only done it once, but I did do it once, and it's the cleanest that I ever got. So what I did is I ate only fruit and spirulina for a whole month. That's it. Just fruit and spirulina for a whole month. And I was so clean. I was so clean. There's many, many, many benefits of getting that clean. So, one is that our body has toxins. It has toxins from living in this toxic world. If you're eating any food except for the food you grow in your garden, and you're drinking any water except you're not fasting, your body is not able to fully release all those toxins toxins will begin to build up in your body. They'll begin to build up in your body. Also, if you're not eating a raw food diet, most likely you're, you're dehydrated at a cell. Huh. That's my cell phone. No, my cell phone. Right here. So by eating, you know, breads and you know, baked goods and all sorts of cooked foods, you're not really giving your body proper time to hydrate. Especially if you're eating more than one cooked meal a day. Especially if you're, you know, drinking coffee or green tea or anything with caffeine, sodas, those are all diuretics. And what that means is, is that it actually causes your cells to release water. And the reason why it does that is so that your body can move the the, the caffeine or whatever it is through your system. So if you're drinking soda, if you're drinking coffee, if you're drinking tea with caffeine in it, you're, you're consuming a diuretic, which is actually causing your cells to, to expunge, to, to put out its, its water, its hydration. So it's dehydrating you at a cellular level. Now there's nothing wrong with coffee. I love coffee. There's nothing wrong with tea. I love tea. There's nothing wrong with you know, soda. I love soda. And I partake in all of those things at times in my life. I don't partake in any of those things every day of my life. And sometimes I'll go years without any of those things. It just depends on what I want and what's important to me right now. But the truth is, is that they are diuretics and they cause the body to dehydrated to sell your level. So if you're not extremely hydrated, then you're going to be even more less hydrated. You're going to be even less hydrated. So to really begin to purify and to really.